Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to see how to unhide all sheets and cells in Excel using VBA macros. And you probably have seen uh, some workbooks sometimes with a lot of hidden stuff, a lot of hidden sheets and hidden cells. And sometimes we need to find some information and it takes a while to figure out what is hidden, what is there. So for example, I have here a workbook and I have several um, just a couple of worksheets hidden. Uh, we can, of course, show them manually, but um, that would only work with hidden uh, sheets, not with very hidden. So I have a hidden sheet here, and I have also another one which is very hidden. And, and there's no way to, to show that from here. We can only do that from the Visual Basic Editor or with VBA code. Uh, and also I have some columns here hidden um, and some rows. And so so this macro is just showing everything at once. So as you see, now we have all the other worksheets. There were only a couple there and also all the hidden cells. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to close here and move to, I move to a new workbook with the exact same data. So I've already hidden some cells or some columns and some sheets. And so let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and see how to do that. And this is a very simple macro and as you see here we have three sheets but we can only see one of them and of course we could unhide all of that manually because it's just three sheets and one of them is very hidden so we could do it from within here within the visual basic editor down here the visible property um, as you see there are three possibilities there so, but imagine we have many other sheets that are hidden and we want to show them all at the same time. Um, so that's what this macro is going to do. And it's a very simple macro. It's for you guys who are starting with VBA to understand how to how we do things in VBA. It's and, and once you've seen that a few a few times, you will realize that it's always the same process. So let's call this macro and hide sheets and cells too. And we're going to use an object variable declare as a worksheet because we're going to be looping through each worksheet in this workbook. And then we will start a loop and we've done this several times. So you, if you follow the channel, you probably are familiar with this structure. This is a for each loop and for each WS in this workbook or in the active workbook worksheets. And if you want to use this macro for a specific workbook, you could add here the, the, the name or the index of that workbook. But it is probably better to leave as active workbook. And this means the same as if I would write active workbook, right? Uh, because then you can use this, you can have some other workbook where you want to unhide everything and you can use this macro from another workbook so having the the workbook with the macro uh, open and then activating the workbook you want to to run the macro on just going to view run macros and and, and so on so now um i'm gonna come in here the first thing we'll do is to unhide um all sheets and to do that we simply go with the ws visible and the visible property has a three constants or three possibilities so a worksheet can be visible of course hidden and very hidden as you see here and very hidden can only be set up with vva code or or from within the properties window and and if you have very hidden sheets and you don't want anyone you don't want the users to see what's there then you should rather lock your vva project with a password so now we're going to set this to exit sheet visible and then the second thing we're going to do, we're going to unhide all cells. And to unhide all cells, we are actually going to unhide columns and rows. So with WBS rows, and here we use the hidden property. It's a bit different. So with, with worksheets, we use the visible property. With rows, columns, or, or a range, we have the hidden property. And the hidden property is going to be, in this case, set to false. So, so we have some rows which are hidden. So hidden is true. Now we, so we are setting the hidden property to false. And the same for the columns. Hidden is going to be false. And here we're just going to move to the next. So it's going to loop through as many worksheets as we have in this workbook or in the active workbook. And, and in this case, it's going to be three worksheets. So 
So let's now run it, and if we go to macros, we can run it from here. And now we see all the other worksheets and all the cells in each of the worksheets. So, so that was a very simple macro to unhide all the worksheets and all the cells for each of the worksheets in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.